Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And today's Gospel lesson is from St. Matthew, chapter 24, verses 27 through 33, and verses 42 through 51. Before we hear today's Gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, thine all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. And now, today's Gospel according to St. Matthew. For as the lightning comes from the east, and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the body is, there the eagles will be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Watch, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the householder had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find doing. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with the drunken. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will punish him and put him with the hypocrites. Their men will weep and gnash their teeth. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.